Okay, so what's going on guys? It's your boy Mainslaw or Kiki here. Hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys the time I almost died. And you know, most of my videos are uh pretty laid back and pretty funny and chill and shit like that, but this story is really serious because you know I hate looking back on it and I kinda have PTSD because of it in a way. I have PTSD from another story I'm gonna be telling you guys pretty soon. That one's pretty funny too, but if you think about it, it's pretty funny. But uh, to me, it's not. I look back on it, and I, I have a good, pretty a big goof over it. But uh, yeah, so I am at this water. It, okay, so before I tell you the storyline, I was we were visiting my grandparents when I was eight, and they live in Lake of the Ozarks or slash Osage Beach in Missouri, and it's a big lake called Ozark Lake, and I mean it's Osage Lake. I don't know, something like that. But uh, anyway. We were gonna go swimming in the lake. We were really looking forward to it, but a the water was really cold, and b it was like geese like shit all over the fucking lake. So it wasn't even like fun because it was pretty weird. And I didn't really want to swim in a lake full of geese goose shit and E. coli and shit like that. Um, so hang on. <coughs> so we ended up going to this indoor water park called Terra something Terra Cata Terra Villa. Terra Terabithia, no, that's not right. Anyway, I'll count or I'll pin the comment. Anyway, so yeah, um, we went to this water park because you know we wanted to go swimming at the time, and you know I didn't really want to go swimming in a lake full of shit. So we went to this indoor water park, and it was yeah, it's actually it's a lot bigger than any other indoor water park I've ever been at. This one had an indoor basketball hoop, a lazy river, diving boards. Like this place was awesome. But what it also had was a uh, tube slide and if you guys don't know what a tube slide is it's a uh, slide pretty much but instead of like you slide down on your ass you slide down in these tubes because you know it's apparently it's a lot cooler or some shit like that I don't know it's, I don't get the point of it but so yeah we went on this tube slide and uh, me and my dad were going on it and he's a lot bigger than me so he sat in the front and I sat in the back and at the time I was like an eight-year-old string bean like I was really fucking small really fucking skinny so I'm sitting there, you know, all excited. I'm like, we're going to go down it. We're going to have a lot of fun. And at the back of my head, I knew that we were going to fall at the end of it because, you know, top heavy or front heavy, whatever the hell you want to call it, it doesn't end right with, uh, it doesn't end right, especially with the small guy. So we knew, I knew I was going to, we were going to flip. So, people, you know, as I said, we f ended up going on the slide and we flipped. And I didn't really think much of it. I figured I was just going to get right back up. But, uh, no, actually, <laughs> no, didn't get right back up. This fat ass lady came down in a tube and she was in a two-seater tube that's how fat she is she took up two seats in this tube and she uh she ended up breaking a rule so this actually comes into play at the end of this end of, end of the video she broke a rule and didn't get yelled at because she went down right after us she didn't wait at all because you know normally on a slide the lifeguard says go you know waits a couple seconds till they're out of the bottom go you know because that prevents you know damn or getting kids getting hurt and risk of drowning but she didn't wait at all she literally just went didn't give a fuck and just went it's really actually pissed me the fuck off especially because like you know we're really like come on now come on now bitch like come on so i i'm underwater and i'm at the bottom of the pool because i you know at the time i knew how to swim i just you know wasn't really thinking of getting right back up i was kind of laughing underwater like wow that was a lot of fun i want to do that again and then i feel you know plastic coming against my chest and at first I didn't really, again I didn't really think much of it I figured you know a tube must have fallen and sunk or got flat or something like, I didn't really think much of it but then I feel it get heavier and heavier and heavier on my chest and yeah the lady was sinking on top of me so my dad ended up I'm, so, a quick thing. I'm underwater for at least a minute or a minute and a half in this story, and I don't remember everything about it. A lot of the stuff I, uh, my dad told me about afterwards, that's how I know a lot about this story. Um, so I'm underwater, and my dad, I'm freaking out because I'm like, I'm eight years old, and my life is literally about to end. Like, I'm going to drown because of a fat lady. That's how I'm going to go out. On my gravestone, died because of a fat lady. Rest in peace. You know, that's not what I'm looking forward to in my life. Like, no, that's not what I, how I want to go out. So I'm freaking out. Like, I'm completely anxious. I probably could have lasted. Like, I probably could have been conscious this entire time. But when you're underwater, on lot under your, you know, control, when you're, like, you know, not in control of your own, like, body, being underwater that long, you freak out. You're panicking. Your anxiety's all up. 
all up. Your fight or flight kicks in. And you're like, I gotta figure something out. But when it's, you know, a, you know probably a 50, 60 pound kid, th you know, four feet something tall versus a 300 pound fucking cow, you know, you're not gonna win this fight. So I'm sitting there and I'm just pretty much waiting for the Grim Reaper to come and take me up. Take me up to heaven or take me to hell, wherever the fuck he was gonna take me or just, you know, whatever. I was just waiting. I was like, I'm gonna die and I'm okay with it. You know, I was, I was kind of accepting it that I'm gonna die. But then I feel all this weight get lifted off of me. And apparently, my dad picked this bitch up and he threw her. And he didn't just lightly toss her, he completely yeeted this bitch. I don't know when my dad became like the fucking Hulk or whatever, but he, whew, he saved my ass that day. And I'm not even gonna lie, he literally saved my ass. Because I'd be dead without him. And you know, my dad's like literally my best friend, so it's a really fun story to tell people because he saved my life. And, uh, yeah. Uh, he ended up pulling me out from the water and putting me on top of this, um, hang on, <coughs> sorry, I'm kind of, I'm pretty sick recently, so I kind of have the coughs and the sniffles, or whatever the fuck you want to call them, but he ended up putting me onto this, like, beach cot, you know, like, the ones at pools that are comfortable, but not comfortable in the same way, yeah, those ones, he ended up putting me on one of those, and I wasn't really paying enough attention, but I ended up blacking out or something, um, so I came to on this cot, and I was like, yo, what happened? Like, how, what just happened to me? And my dad goes, you told me everything, you know, I was like, well, I knew part of it, you know, I knew this fat lady came, and my mom's on the phone with somebody, and I, you know, I wake up, and my dad's right next to me, and mom's on the phone with somebody, and my mom gets off the phone, goes up to the city, and starts screaming at her, saying, you just almost killed an eight-year-old child, how does that make you feel? Next time, maybe pay attention for once. And, you know, I did, like, the life, the thing that made me the most, like, made me mad the most is the fact the lifeguards didn't do shit. Like, if you see a sinking lady, you'd probably tweet your whistle, you know, get off your lazy ass and, you know, get her up. Because she was stuck in the thing, so, I mean, she probably could have stood, it was like four feet tall, so, like, she probably could have stood up. But, the fact that she was sitting and, you know, sinking, it's not, you're just a fucking idiot if you don't do anything. So, Yeah. That pissed me the fuck off. That lifeguards didn't do shit, and my dad saved my life. But uh, yeah. And then we ended up. We, yeah. The other thing that made me really mad is she broke the rule. She didn't do it. She didn't even get yelled at. My mom like bitched at her. But you know, the lifeguards didn't do shit about her. My mom or the lifeguard came up to us or the manager, whatever the fuck you want to call him. He pretty much came up to us and asked us politely to leave the pool because we, my dad, technically threw a girl, you know, woman off me. But well, I mean, I get it. But at the same time, I don't like. She pretty much almost fucking killed me. So I guess I don't really understand in one way, but in the other way, I guess I do understand because you know, my dad kind of threw a bitch. But anyway, yeah. That's the end of the story. If you guys liked it, definitely leave a comment. Tell me how I'm doing my stories. Also, quick thing, please, if. I you guys, blew, okay, if the video I uploaded yesterday with me and my sister trickshotting, you guys blew that thing up, like, you guys have really liked it. The only thing, and if you guys want to see more of me, of my sister, like, doing trick shots or just, you know, going in games and hitting clips and stuff like that, I'll definitely do it. My sister makes everything a lot more fun, and apparently you guys liked it a lot, too. So if you guys want to see it, definitely drop a comment below and tell me that. But here's the thing. Please don't comment anything sexual about my two-year-old sister because that's just fucked up, man. Like, that's just really fucked up. Because I know for a fact, I woke up this morning to a comment on that video saying I'd hit that. And I, at first I, like, liked it because, you know, I thought nothing of it. I didn't know what video it was on because I thought it was, like, you know, the time I lost my virginity or one of those videos. But nope. It was on the video with my sister. So I reported the dude, deleted the comment. And I just look, checked his channel later in the day, and he doesn't even have a channel anymore, so I'm pretty sure his channel got, you know, s deleted or at least suspended for breaking the terms and, uh, terms and regulations, or the fuck, terms and, uh, ter terms and, terms and, whatever, the terms and something thingy, terms and, I think it's terms and regulations, yeah, that sounds about right, terms and conditions, terms and conditions, so yeah, um, if you guys did enjoy this, uh, this story, definitely, definitely drop a drop a like you know there's your channel while smashing that like button if you're new to my channel drop a sub because every sub counts and you know definitely just you know i want to have fun on my channel that's pretty much what i do i make all my videos fun but this one just happened to be a little bit more of a serious video also i have a lot of really funny stories to tell you guys that i'm really excited to share with you guys but i'm saving one of my favorite videos that's happened to me so far or favorite stories that's happened to me so far for my 200 subscriber special so definitely try and get me to 200 subs because fuck it 
you know, just try. Do your best. And, you know, every sub matters, as I said. We'll get there little by little. And, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Always remember to stay sloppy. And that's Miss Law. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.